Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we are going to review Treverton, The Flats. Now when we started from the parking lot, which is a fairly decent size, we felt like we were driving in a county or state park. It just looks too manicured. <laughs> it looked actually nice, um, probably because of the dirt path, um, the trees, the pines, everything, you know, short of the water puddles, it looked like it was a bit of a park. And most of that is the up and front part of the uh, riding area. And there's some people there grilling and having a good time. There were some off-roaders, but it seems like it is also a popular area for people just to hang out. And as we rode further in, the landscape did change. We found ourselves getting into a little bit of an open area and a little bit more wooded area, and it was nice. Uh, we had a beautiful day. It was a little bit warmer uh, than normal. Uh, we're starting to get into warmer spring temperatures, and the land opened up, and it was uh, more visible that this was a mining facility, but still some great trails. Unfortunately, we did run into some roadblocks. Uh, now this is on FRO property and this trail should go down along AOA property but it should not allow you in so I don't know if someone's making these legally or not. But just overall uh, light gravel to dirt to a little bit of um, you know leftovers for mining facilities but pleasant and open and some high speed and some hill trails but not too too hilly. Hey there, it's Mike on the Beaten Trail. We're uh, having a warm day here at the Flats, and uh, I think we just came up to the end of the road. So we're at the other end, and it looks like um, it butts up against AOAA, and I'll have to check on the overall map how it does. But as you can see, up here it's pretty much just the end of the road. Beautiful sky out today, and there's a big purple gate over there, which means no trespassing. So I would have to say, you know, for the uh, for the flats, it's most of it is like driving through a county park. I do have to say, and I mean that in a good way. Nice wooded areas, um, come some puddles here and there, a lot of wooded pines. It's really nice. So we would recommend that you go out and get some riding in at the flats. Again, as we had said, you can ride from the Coal Hills area just by crossing Gap Road. But it's a lot of fun and seems like it's a good variety here of trails. And there's some old haul roads for some high speed as well. So we would say it's worth your trip. You can do um, a half day or maybe you can spend the whole day here and see every little last trail. But definitely uh, it's a recommended location. It seems to be popular with a lot of out-of-towners for barbecuing, so just so you're aware, there will be a lot of people probably in the park that are uh, riding and barbecuing, not trail riding. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.